Thank you very much, Scott. Yes, we continue our coverage of the ladies' free skate. It's Evgenia Medvedeva of Russia leading the way. Marai Nagasu of the United States behind her. And Satoko Miyahara right now sitting in third. But here is 16-year-old Polina Tsurskaya of Russia. A lot of promise for this young skater, but it really has been a start and stop to her career. She's had to pull out of a lot of events because of a disease, a genetic condition that she has, which involves Love pieces of her bone and cartilage deep. loosening up and floating around in the joint cavity. Very, very difficult. And it, already at the age of 16, she's 5'8", very tall for a skater. jumps with a nice, reckless abandon. It's not careful. She really launches herself up and across the ice. It's like she steps up into the air, kind of an old school style of jumping. I'm liking it. So putting two spins back to back, but doing it early in the program. Again, to minimize the stopping and starting, which drains energy once she starts all of her jumping passes in the second half. taking us on an exhibition of beautiful jumping, isn't she? And she has a great maturity in her skating. It's hard to believe she's actually only 16. She presents herself in a very professional, grown-up manner. I think if you had to say a difference between her and Medvedeva, it's that Medvedeva has that ability to suck you into what she does. It's a charm and a grace. And Polina has, she's a very professional, but I'd like to see her just, you know, as she moves forward, really trying to get that connection between her and the audience. Sixteen-year-old Polina Tsurtskaya of Russia making her senior Grand Prix debut as well. 
had a very successful junior Grand Prix circuit career when undefeated back in the 2015-16 season. Looked to repeat that last year, winning her first two junior Grand Prix events. But as I mentioned, a lot of injuries, knee, mm -hmm. ankle, mm -hmm. and then of course the genetic condition where, you know, bones, cartilage loosening up, floating around in the joint That's, cavity. I can't imagine I've that. I've had meniscus problems, which is basically something floating around in your knee and it, I, if it was a condition to deal with, I don't see how she could run together a lot of good training time to get these amazing jumps, but it might explain that lack of ability to really reach out over the boards as we sometimes say the way um, you know Yevgenia can and she just hasn't been on the circuit very long what a natural glider though and those she's and her height is beautiful she everything is sort of textbook perfect the way she places her body the way she enters and exits the line of her body in the air is gorgeous the, the triple lutz looks like it's from the men's event mm -hmm. in the way that she takes the momentum down in the knee the and please. explodes up into the uh, up into the air a lot of potential here well, she's going to need 154.36 to jump ahead of Medvedeva, also of Russia, to take the lead here. Big task to ask of a young skater making her senior Grand Prix debut, but I will say 140.15 will definitely put her in second. And 210.19, so not bad. Second overall with one more skater to go. And she's currently in second So how about that? We've definitely seen that before, making their senior debut and getting on the podium. But we will see two Russians on the podium here in Japan. It's